Another type of variable is a logical value, true or false. We can create a logical vector or a matrix, as well as using mathematical operations such as inequality or numbers to dynamically generate logical variables. Using a function c, we can make a vector of logical values. Note that true and false are not wrapped by quotation marks. We can look at the class of y, which indicate it is indeed logical. Note that true and false, being capitalized, are reserved and treated specially for, by R. Therefore, you cannot and should not name your variable true or false. You can compare numeric values in a vector, you know, any value you choose. We can look at vector v2 we made and say which one of v2 are larger than 0. If you apply a logical operator to a matrix, it will again work on each element. Here we can look up the matrix M and ask which one, which elements of M are equal or greater than number 5. However, what if you want all automatic cars or all cars with MPG greater than 20. We can first ask R which elements of empty cars MPG is greater than 20. We can look at MP cars dollar sign MPG greater than 20. Now we can save this logical output. This logical vector can be used to subset rows of the data frame. True means keep the row. False means drop it. Place it before the comma in the square brackets. We'll save MP cars MPG greater than 20 into a vector V. And we generate new variable efficient cars we can look at efficient cars to ensure that we have subsetted according to our criteria v alternatively and concisely we could also type efficient cars empty cars with an open square bracket. And instead of typing V, we can simply type our criteria that we used earlier. You can combine multiple conditions using AND or OR sign, such as looking for automatic gear shift cars with MPG greater than 20. Let's look at some examples. We can look at efficient auto and look at M empty cars. And we like to provide two conditions. First, we like empty cars with an MPG greater than 20 and empty cars with an automatic gear shift set to zero. Now let's look at the few rows of efficient auto. Here by typing three after efficient auto, we are printing only the first three row of efficient auto.